Milkweeds, the Asclepius species, are perhaps the best known group of North American native plants due to them being the monarch butterfly's host plant. Although there are more than 70 species of native milkweed, only a couple of them are all around good choices for including in small butterfly gardens in Eastern North America. Let's find out about them and start off with Swamp milkweed, also known as rose milkweed, Asclepius incarnata, which has a huge range in eastern North America. As its name suggests, this milkweed is adapted to wet to moist soils and is often seen growing in wetlands. It will, however, do well in a garden setting with moist, well-drained soils and is a good rain garden candidate. It will grow in full sun to partial shade, but will look its best in full sun. A key feature of swamp milkweed are the striking deep to light pink blossoms that appear from June through August and are attractive to a wide range of pollinators. The long narrow seed pods form in the late summer and add fall and winter visual interest. This is a larger milkweed and will be from three to five feet tall with a two to three foot spread. One of the main reasons it is a good choice for a butterfly garden is its slow clumping growth habit. If you love native milkweeds, buzz like a bumblebee and pollinate that like button. You may be wondering how I determined the species to include in this video. It came down to three things. Number one, these species have large native ranges, making them an option for the largest amount of native plant gardeners possible. I know there are a lot of definitions of what a native plant is out there. If you'd like to see a video on what we consider to be a native plant here at Backyard Ecology, please leave a comment. These species are readily available in the native plant nursery trade, either as seeds or as potted stock. As I always say, try to find a local ecotype as close to your area as possible so that the plants will do the best in your local conditions. And last but not least, these species have a non-aggressive growth habit that makes them suitable for planting in a small garden space. This is why the popular common milkweed Asclepius syriaca is not on this list. There are places for the more aggressive milkweed species in habitat management, and perhaps I'll do a video on that in the future. I'd like to take a moment to thank our supporters on Patreon for helping make Backyard Ecology content possible. The blog, podcast, and YouTube channel would not be possible without your help. If you would like to join them in their support of Backyard Ecology, there is a link in the description. Next up is a longtime favorite, butterfly milkweed, Asclepius tuberosa, which can be found in every state in the eastern United States. This milkweed is known for its distinctive orange to yellowish blooms that appear from June through August. Like all milkweeds, the flowers are attractive to a wide range of pollinators. The seed pods are also distinctive, very narrow with a pointed end, and are present from late summer and into fall, and even winter, adding interest after the leaves die. Butterfly weed is not a large plant and attains a height of one to two feet with a one to one and a half foot spread. It has a slow spreading clump forming growth pattern that is suitable for a small garden. It can grow in poor dry soils and is often seen growing in places where few other plants can survive. When I say it can survive in poor soils, I'm not kidding. It grows in some dry, rocky places. I like to joke that it could grow in concrete. Seriously though, it will do well in normal garden soil too, as long as it is well drained and does not get overly wet for extended periods. It has a long tap root and is quite drought proof once well established. Butterfly weed will grow in full sun to partial shade, but does best in full sun. A huge advantage the milkweeds have is they are nearly rabbit and deer proof. They may get nipped on occasion, but they are far from a preferred food of either critter. While many plant milkweed because it is the host plant for monarch butterfly caterpillars. There are many other critters that benefit from it. To learn all about the benefits of milkweed beyond being just monarch caterpillar food, check out this video and get out and explore nature in your backyard.